friends, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'd like to share a little update on how my daily journals are going. Since my last notebook lineup video, I've made a few changes to my journaling. I've moved up a size and I got a new cover. And I'd just like to share my thoughts on this new journal size and the notebooks that I'm using. So if this video interests you at all, do consider subscribing. I make more videos about journals, planners, and pens. This is the Chic Sparrow Mockingbird in light blue J, B6 size. I got this on clearance a few weeks ago. I moved up from A6 to B6 for journaling, so I wanted a cover for my new notebooks. And when I ordered this, I asked for the smoothest letter they had. I don't know if that was a relevant request because Mockingbird is so smooth to begin with. But as you can see, this is incredibly smooth and shiny. It feels so good to hold. And it's this really pretty light blue cover. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little bit out of my comfort zone. If you look at my Instagram feed, you'll see a lot of browns and pinks. So blue is a little bit out of the left field for me. But I think this color is so pretty. It reminds me of denim. Here is a buttered rum leather to compare. And straight away, I can tell that the Mockingbird letter is a lot smoother than the Buttered Rum. And this letter, which is now called the Austin Collection on the Chic Sparrow website, marks up really, really easily, while the Mockingbird letter is a lot sturdier. I did handle this a little bit roughly when I was putting my notebooks in, so I got a couple of scratches here and there, and I was able to just rub them out. And touching these two, the Mockingbird just feels so smooth. And it smells really good too. It smells different from the buttered rum. The buttered rum smells like new car to me, while the Mockingbird smells kind of like paper. But both of them smell really nice. This, by the way, is my scrapbook. I talked about this before in my 2020 notebook lineup. I'll link that video below. And I'm still working on my 2019 scrapbook. <laughs> I am so, so close to finishing. I just need to add a couple more things and I can finally move on to this year's scrapbook. And as you can see, she is so chunky from all the pictures and tippins I've been adding. I really love this notebook. Anyways, back to the journal. As I've mentioned before, this is the V6 size. And I'm really glad I got to try this out. It's still very holdable, but provides plenty of space for writing. Here is a Gilio Medium Campagna to compare. As you can see, they're about the same height. The Chic Sparrow is a little bit wider for how I'm using it compared to the Gilio, but this is still very holdable. I can still take this around the house with me if I want to. And I'm really glad that I got to try this size. I was in an A6 for so long. I actually started the year with an A6 journal. And A6 is my favorite pocket size notebook. It has plenty of room for me to write in, but I can still hold this with one hand. True pocket size for me is just a little bit too small for long form journaling. For planning, that's a different story because I don't need a lot of space or writing down to-do lists, but for sitting down and writing out my thoughts, A6 is a lot better for me. That extra space just makes a huge difference. So this is the notebook that I started with at the beginning of the year. This is a, the 7321 notebook. And I actually bought this notebook off of Seaweed Kisses. She did a de-stash some time ago on her Patreon and I claimed one of her bundles. And this notebook was all right. It's not as fountain pen friendly as a Rodia, which I also managed to try thanks to her de-stash. There's a fair bit of bleed through on my pens. But I didn't hate this notebook for what it's worth. I mean, it's just for daily journaling. I don't really share my pages on Instagram, so it doesn't really matter to me how the paper behaves. And the cover I used for my A6 is this Cadenetta notebook. I did a review of this notebook cover some time ago. I'll link that video below. So this was my first journal for 2020. And then after that is when I moved up to the B6 size because I wanted to try something different. And this was my next journal. This is the Katie Daisy Floral Notebook. It's a really pretty notebook. The cover design is so cute. And the pages of this notebook are already decorated. 
there's all these floral designs on the pages and they're really cute. I first heard of this notebook from Amanda's Favorites when she did a review of the planner version and I just fell in love with the design so I bought this off of Amazon. As far as the paper goes, it's pretty inconsistent with fountain pens. Some inks were fine and others bled through a lot. This is the Platinum Petty Purple Ink and this one behaved just fine. There's no bleed through on this page. But if you use a different ink, you're gonna get some bleed through. This is the Diatromentis Document Ink in Green. And here is the Pelican 4001 Turquoise Ink. This one didn't do well at all. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this notebook if you use exclusively fountain pens. I can't guarantee that your pen will do well with this notebook. I also felt like this notebook just kind of overstayed its welcome. I don't know, there was just something about it. I felt like it was too thick, like I, I just stayed in this notebook for way too long. So I was really glad to have filled this up. And I have some <laughs> torn up post-it notes here that I used as tabs. I didn't want to waste it, so I'm just using it. And then here is the current journal that I'm using. This is a Kokuyo notebook. It came with the systemic fabric cover. And this was originally a size that I chopped down to be six. I have that story saved on my Instagram highlights if you're curious. But I just used a rotary blade and a metal ruler. And it turned out pretty well. It's not a perfect cut, but it works for me. And I love this paper. It is so smooth. My pen just glides right on the page. I only started this journal a few days ago and I've already written so much because it's just so fun to write in. It's not a very thick notebook, so I'm going to zip right through this one, but I'm really excited to journal in this because the paper is so nice. And the notebook lays flat too. And it's nice and crinkly and ugh, I'm in love. I'm definitely going to buy more Kokuyo notebooks in the future. And I don't write anything interesting in my journal. It's just whatever goes through my mind. So for example here, I just wrote about my A5 Filofax original. Because <laughs> I started using it for note taking recently and I'm really enjoying the size. And now I'm like wondering, should I get more A5 binders? But I shouldn't because I already have my Filofax. You know, things like that. I've also been journaling about current events, what I'm seeing on the local news, how my family is coping and how I'm coping. But mostly it's just really what's on my mind. It doesn't have to be anything deep or important. It can be as silly as my Filofaxes, you know? Like, this journal is for me. It's a judgment-free zone and I can write anything I want in it. And here's the current pen I'm using. This is a Twisby Diamond Mini AR in the mint blue. I got this on Goulet Pens during their Black Friday sale. And I really like this pen. It's very, very short, but when you post it, the cap provides enough length for it to become like a regular size pen, as you can see. And I used to have multiple pens inked up for my journal, but I find that I would get overwhelmed by having three or four pens inked at a time. I just felt like I had to keep rotating through them and it was a little bit stressful having to choose what pen to use that day. So I'm trying to simplify and sticking to one pen for now. And Twisby is one of my favorite fountain pens. So that's working out so far. Maybe in the future, I'll start inking up multiple pens again, but for now, just one works for me. And this is the next journal that I plan on using. This is a Design Works ink notebook. And I have this set up in my Chic Sparrow already because my Kokio journal is really thin and it doesn't provide enough structure when I put it in my Chic Sparrow. So I went ahead and added my next journal so that it can have a bit more structure when I'm using it. And it's working out so far. The Design Works ink, I'm not sure about fountain pen friendliness. I did try out my currently inked pen here and it did okay. We shall see. I think I will be using my Japanese extra fine pens for this notebook just to minimize feathering and bleed through. I have a whole stack of these Design Works inks notebooks because I bought them on sale a long while ago. They were five bucks each, so I thought, eh, why not? 
except now I have a huge backlog of notebooks to go through and I'm not proud of it, but it is what it is. <laughs> I think I have five of these to go through, so we'll see how I do. If it drives me insane, I'm probably going to jump out and try out a different notebook. But for now, that is my current journal setup. Do you keep a daily journal? Do you use a leather cover? Let me know below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you'd like a little sneak peek of my next video, I plan on going through my VDS codex setup. I know a couple of people asked about it, so that is coming up next. Thank you so much for watching. This is Spellbound Notes, and I will see you next time. Bye!